Welcome back to Fun Adventures for Kids and It's Guys, and I'm going to be showing you how to make claws, um, Black Panther claws. But first, I want to show you my new dog that I got. I just got a new dog, and he's so cute. It's just me. It's just me. He's really shy. He had a bad past, but um, now he's ours, and it's okay, buddy. Yeah, he's my new dog. And we don't actually know how old he is, but yeah, um, his old owner Chop was treating him really badly. He was abused, and then he got, and then he was saved, and he got a new owner. And then that owner er, didn't have a lot of time to have him, or like, because they were gone most of the day. But and that's why my family you because I was asking for a dog and they said that we couldn't have one and they secretly you were very um sorry they were secretly getting a dog and they didn't tell me about it so and and his name is Henry so his old owner or um they were gone for most of the day and Henry would always be howling because Henry doesn't like to be alone, and the only thing he wants out of life is to snuggle. I slept with him on the first day that we had him, and, like, he slept in my bed all night, and I had a horrible sleeping night that, that night, because, like, I couldn't sleep. I kept waking up, but it was still so much fun to be with him in my room until eventually he bit my mom, but that was just because she was trying to carry him down the stairs to, to give him a walk, but that's okay. So... Enough to chat. Um, let me get my other set of claws so I can show you what these will look like when it's done. Well, what it will hopefully look like. Okay, so this isn't for everyone. Only if people that have the right things for this will be able to do this. So, and don't forget to comment down below, which... Um, if you liked this video and comment down below what you want me to do next would be good to and oh wait no this one goes on pinky and this one goes here oh wait no um sorry guys so yeah um these claws actually took me a while to make so Hopefully it doesn't take too long this time, but these are what my first set looks like. And these are actually, these actually are sharp. They actually kind of hurt. So what you will be needing for this is just, I don't know, as many popsicle sticks as you have. These ones would be the best. They're, they're smaller than the normal ones. And if you have really big ones, and that might work, but you would have to use like a really sharp knife to carve out the shape you wanted. Otherwise you, because if you don't have this kind and it's going to be harder to use the sandpaper to shape it and make it pointy, but who knows. And I'm um, sorry I haven't been uploading in a while. Um, I've been busy. He, plus I just started gymnastics and I got a new dog. And my sister started it, um, was, it signed up for acting, so a lot of stuff's been going on. So enough chit chat, let's get to this. Hold on, let me, okay, there. And don't forget to comment down below. Oh wait, I already said, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. So what you want to do is just keep sanding down at an angle, so then it will, you know, it will shape as like a claw or a knife. And then what you want to do is use scissors and try and cut it. Or if you have an X-Acto knife, you can use that. But um, I didn't leave he like, is my other X-Acto knife, first of all. I don't know where it is. And then the other one I accidentally broke. So, and I'm not just saying this because I'm not allowed to have them. I'm, I'm, I actually broke mine and, and the other one. So, and so you just want to sand this down to when it gets to a sharp point. And then don't forget to, you'll need tape and scissors. So you just sand it down with sandpaper. And if you don't have sandpaper, if you have a skateboard, the top of your skateboard, it's basically sandpaper. So if you have a skateboard, most skateboards on the top have 
the same texture as this and then I think that will work for this too if you have one because mine because I have a skateboard too and it works the same way as sandpaper it's basically sandpaper so that's why I don't really like writing it because I don't want it to shave off my feet so I actually started to try and do and I actually started trying to do this before you even before I even started the video but the call broke and that sometimes happens and if it's about to break you can just use tape and that's what I did I used tape to cover it up so first of all it would be stronger and it wouldn't be extremely sharp Oops, sorry. sorry this is kind of shaky but um I'll get I'll get back I'll get back to you in a sec after I finish this Okay, I'm done with this. Oh, wow. Don't forget to try and not get a splinter from this. And once you're done using a sheet of sandpaper, don't forget to dump off, off all of the, like, you know, the sand. See what I did there? <laughs> Although it's not sand, it's wood. Because you don't want to get any splinters when you're doing this. And I already have a splinter, but not from this. Something else I did. So now what you're going to do is see if you can cut this off and I can already see how this one might break okay, look at it didn't and once you have your first claw you want to sand down the bottom so it's not yeah, like sharp. yeah it's better it's not sharp anymore and so you actually kind of want this to be a little bit sharp well not on here but on here, so, because, not that the claws have to be sharp, of course, but, why? Well, yeah, gum, I lost it. See what I did there? My cars. So, now what you want to do, you can get frustrated if this, keep, if this thing keeps going. Now what you want to do is take a piece of paper and then just cut something like this. You know I don't look very fancy when I'm making this, but that's only because I don't have an X-Acto knife to use. So you need to cut a rectangle like this. And then, as I said, you'll need tape. And now what you do with the tape is, since I can't find my the other tape I was using, you just grab a piece of this tape, strip it on your table, and then cut the size you need. Now, sometimes it might be, the size might be different for however big your piece of paper is, although it shouldn't be too big, of course. <laughs> so you just take the tape and try and line it up with the paper. And now what you're going to do is just wrap it around your finger and see how big you want in the Claw to be now sometimes you might want to like oversize it a bit because if there's any tape hanging off you'll have to like most I I always just like because you'll have to you you know oh, there's still tape hanging off of this and and the way you can fix that is just by tucking it inside but when you do that sometimes it makes it yeah see it makes it tighter when you do that because there's not um, the amount of room that there was before but it still works, that's why you have to oversize it a bit. So this one's for my thumb, and what, you t and what you want to do is just grab a big piece of tape, not too big though, and about this size, and then cut it in half, and then save this one for later. And then you take this piece, place it on here, All right, and just do this, and then you put this, this thing on your thumb and then you just tape the claw on it's that easy and it still works and then like I said before some tape hanging off and you don't want to have too much tape going inside or being tucked in because you know it will make it kind of messy inside and then it will be hard to fit it on your thumb see this got a lot more snug than it was before and now for most of you, there's probably going to be like this hanging on and some tape. 
and you can either just cut that off or I don't know whatever you want to do with it you can leave it if you want but so here's our first claw for our hand and now you're just gonna repeat this five times well four more times and then you'll have five claws for both of your hands and now I'm not gonna take the time to do this all um, so thanks for watching guys and well steam is for kids